Hey everybody, it's Matt here. Um, I want to talk uh, about faith again because it's important. It's an important topic, and a lot of people have wrong ideas about what faith is and what faith does. And yeah, it just confuses a lot of people. It doesn't really make sense. It's how they, a lot of people see it, faith. And it, yeah, can not only confuse people, but it can hurt people, make people, you know, not even want anything to do with what they think God is, this God that's being portrayed to them through people who don't understand the gospel, understand faith. Because, yeah, well, faith is not what we do to make God do something. Faith is what Jesus has done, what Jesus believes that he's done, and he shares his faith with us, that he is the Savior of the world. Our faith you know, many people think our faith saves us. Like, our faith is something that we think right about God, or we, we believe some Bible verse, or we pray some prayer. We have faith. We have faith, brother. But that's not what faith is at all. Faith is that Jesus already saved us. Faith, it's Jesus's faith that he saved us. He knows he saved us 2,000 years ago when he incarnated, had all humanity with him, in him, died to everything that could hurt us. And not him. He would never hurt us. Our Abba would never hurt us. Our Abba would never hurt Jesus. He's just like Jesus. They're the exact same God, the exact same essence, the exact same substance with the Holy Spirit. It was us who was hurting ourselves. The devils and the demons were hurting us. They, Abba Jesus Holy Spirit saved us in Jesus' death. The word saved means to be made whole. And this wholeness, being made whole in their love embrace, in their resurrection love embrace life, the resurrection life of love that's always been sustaining the whole entire cosmos, filling everything in every way, everything held together in this resurrection life that Jesus is with his, with his Abba Father and Holy Spirit. We're all in that. He's in everything, even when we were blind to it and hurting ourselves and the devil's hurting us. He destroyed all those wrong ideas that we had about him, that, that blindness to his love, and all the bad things that it reaped. He destroyed it in his death, once and for all mankind, and, and then risen, and then he rose from the dead with all of us to who he always knew, to, to what he always knew to be true about us, that he holds us together in himself. He's, he fills us. He's unconditionally loving us with his being of love. And he's the savior of the world. He has saved the whole entire world. There's verses in the Bible that speak of experiencing salvation. Like when it says, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and God raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. But when you look at the tenses, you know, because the gospel is found in its tenses and prepositions, like, when you look at it in the Greek, the Greek tenses, in that verse in Romans, talking about when, it, you know, what I said, it's actually in the tense of you experiencing it you experiencing something that's already true in the past. So it's found in its tenses and prepositions. We have been saved. 
our acceptance of it does not make it any more true than it already is. It's a full salvation where we are already dead and risen and glorified in heaven with him. Even when we were dead in our sins, he raised us up. Even before we were lost in Adam, he was a lamb, lamb slain before the foundation of the world. And faith that he gives to us when we hear this gospel message that he is Lord and, and that he rose from the dead, we experience this, what's already true. We experience him in us. Our eye, the eyes of our heart open, just like on the road to Damascus, and we see that Jesus is already in us, that we're already in him. In that day you shall know that I'm in you, I'm in my Father, and you're in me. In the day of the resurrection, we don't invent this fellowship. We awaken to the reality that we are already in this fellowship of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and they're in us. And Paul said, it pleased God to reveal his Son in me that I might declare him in the nations. So faith is a is the revelation of the gospel. Though the revelation of the gospel gives you faith, it's like kind of the same thing. It's It supplies you when you hear it. It right, Holy Spirit within you rises up within you. No one can say Jesus is Lord unless the Holy Spirit gives you that knowing. So faith is not this blind thing. We can't believe without his help. And we're not believing in just a distant God to fondly love us once we believe. But no, we are believing in the reality that we're unconditionally loved, that he, that Jesus is the savior of the world, that he loved us even in our worst. And he would never leave us, never forsake us. He destroyed everything that was hurting us. He made us whole. He saved us. And so faith is this realization, this revelation that he has saved us. He is the Savior. He is salvation and his very being, fully God, fully man. And he is what Abba believes to be true about us because, because we're made in his image. And when we see him as in a mirror, we see our true selves. We see that we are just like him. And we see our Abba Father is just like him too. We, we see that we just see, you know, through the, through the Holy Spirit showing us, through Abba showing us Jesus, Jesus throwing, showing us Abba, Holy Spirit in between showing, showing us all this at the same time too. And this is true before we experience it. We're experiencing reality. This reality cannot change. Paul said that you can do nothing against the truth. You can only do it for, you can only do things for the truth. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Our knowing of the truth does not make the truth true. The truth was always true. We just wake up. And we wake up also that actually we already died to sin. All the evil impulses that we could ever have due to not believing the truth were melted out of us in his death. Even before we experience it, we wake up to this reality, outside of time reality that swallowed up all time. And we, it's revealed to us in time that even before you fell in your life, he already assumed us. He already assumed all these things. He Past, present, and future. All the bad things that could ever happen in our life. It's already dead. It might seem real, but this is a lesser reality. The true reality is that we actually died and rose with Jesus. This is what gives substance to our faith. This is what faith... His faith becomes a lot, it comes alive in us. Like it's this tangible substance, the tangible substance of reality, of what he knows to be true about us in union with him. You know, he's fully God, fully man. He is the union of all mankind. We are in union with him. Just like he's in union in his body with the fullness of Abba and Holy Spirit, we are made full and with Abba and Holy Spirit and Jesus too, just like he is. We're made in that image and um, he incarnated like as that image that he always was and restored it all from the inside out. So now we get to just effortlessly gaze upon this, participate in this, what's already true, this beautiful reality. So hallelujah. Faith.